this one is going to be about all my CP surgeries and all my treatments. But because it happens when I was so young, I truly do not remember them. And like what improvements I made. So that's why mom is here with me so that I can get her perspective and to remember all the improvements slash um, all the reasons we did it. Stabilization. The reasons we did it. That we did it. But anyway, so yeah, this one's. Did you want it? Okay, this video was a subscriber request. So thank you to that subscriber. We didn't get permission, so you didn't get Yeah, that's why I didn't, I didn't mm. get I'm just explaining. I okay. So here we go. You want me to do the first ones because you were still little? Um, yeah, so the first one. Can you, yeah, okay, this is the non, non, um, non-traditional. Yes, we started out with non-traditional non, is yeah, a good way to yeah. put it. Because I, I didn't know to what to do, to be honest with you. Yeah. We were unaware. Oh, I, uh, for people that don't know, I was diagnosed when I was 10 months old. Yes. So and, that's the. And the doctor told me about early on education, yeah. which is through the school system. And it is a fabulous thing. And through them, I got in touch with various doctors People. and stuff. But some of this I also just kind of tried on my own. Uh, one of the, yeah. the, the first was a chiropractor, um, and they didn't crack her back. Yeah, uh, like you think. That's um, what they I, <laughs> they I use, always said that in my own. They own. use alternative methods, of, and they use like um, uh, they light, massage light. her head, cranial sacral therapy, massaging her head, uh, light uh, light therapy, and yeah, then can't a, a viper, I want to call it, say Viber Cosper. Yeah, it's a Viber Cosper. I could be wrong on what it was called, but I'm pretty it sure was, that's what it was. It was just, just kind of massaged her. It was a big black thing that's on. You just remember and that. And then it was like a circle thing. And you the, shook your head around. The tip around. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I felt the chiropractor was a really great... Uh, I didn't go. mind it actually. Yeah, well, and we did it for a lot of years. You yeah, did I did not mind it at all. Up until school started, from uh, like uh, um, a year old till about school starting, because we just didn't have time once school started. And then we have um, we had two chiropractors who, uh, when they adjusted each other, mm -hmm. would see Anna during the summer, which was bless their hearts. Um, and. Uh, we uh, so they they just did a really great job, and I do think it helped you with your eyesight, my speech, uh, huh? no drooling, and your speech. Oh, I think all yeah. those things it helped with. Then we did acupuncture as Which well. We also think that also has a contributed contributing factor to my speech and my drooling, especially. I think acupuncture did. I mean, chiropractors mm. you did for so many years. Yeah, it's hard makes to more sense. But acupuncture we did for about a year. Yeah. And they did work. What the idea of mm. acupuncture was, and they were really great. Another great, and they did a great um, job of. They ordered small needles for Anna. From, oh. uh, that would because she was so little. She was you know a baby I still. Mean, yeah. And, um, and but that I I think it did loosen her muscles uh, in her legs because that's where she, her muscles tended to be the tightest was in her legs and that was the goal. It did loosen the muscles, that's but it would only why. last for a couple of weeks. Um, we needed it to last longer. Yeah. Um, than that. So, but I did think it was well worth it and would and would recommend yeah, I would, for somebody to try it and see how it works for them. I would be. I would. Definitely try it um, myself. Yeah, if yeah. I was. Old. I've heard good things about for like migraine stuff. Yeah. I love often. I would go there again. My migraines start up again. Like, you know, and they were oft, frequently as they used to be. I would definitely go there. Uh, I would try that. it. I don't yeah. think it would hurt that bad. I, no, you don't feel it. No, yeah. you didn't feel it. No, you you. Would. I just cried because the doctor was there and he yeah. had a white coat. <laughs> he even took off his coat. So, he even took off his coat so you wouldn't cry when he came in. Yeah, that was anyway. Really sweet. So the next thing that was um, was eye um, eye patching and eye drop, which I kind of do remember, but kind of don't remember. Well, because that went on for a lot of years. Yeah, but we did was, the eye patching before we did eye drops. That's kind of what well, we did. yeah. The eye patching was because you kept the, I have to patch her good eye, so to make the weak eye have to work. To, yeah, so the weak eye would have to work, and then we did that with um, 
And then the eye drops event, the eye patching last you were to put, I did that for an hour or two hours a day. Yeah. And the eye drops eventually came into play one because it was hard to get, keep the eye patch on, but two, um, the eye drops may, it it dilate your eye. And so that yeah. lasted 24 hours. So that's why every day I would do eye drops. I mean, but, I didn't mind it, but I do think it helped with my control. I do think it works really because well. Because with the typical CP people, we have um, lazy eyes, I would call it. Yeah, wandering eyes. Wandering lazy eyes, eyes, lazy yeah. eyes, whatever you want to call All it. All of the above. But, and, and I typically don't have that unless I'm tired. Yeah. That's yeah. when it comes it out. It goes wandering a little bit when you're tired. Yeah. Yeah. And the next one, this one you probably remember more because you were, yes. it was your fifth, your fifth birthday, you were in the hospital. You spent mm -hmm. your fifth birthday in the hospital. I do remember the SDR. <laughs> the selective dorsal rhizotomy. Yep. And uh, that one is a, uh, where they, they, they test the nerves uh, and sever the ones that are sending the wrong messages. Okay. In her case, I too did tight. Too, I did say that. In the right, okay. And then, uh, I in, did the, say in that. her case, too tight. Um, the uh and we're gonna have uh little oh, cards yeah, I or pieces to the... of paper that in between all in between all of this mm -hmm. so you can like see the names and or and or if stuff. you want to pause and write them down for your own kid um yeah. or or your own or the kids snip and paste and yeah or whatever out. uh so I'm just... uh but the selective yeah. dorsal rhizotomy was a great thing but at that time we were supposed to be in the hospital for two weeks we luckily only had to do one because the therapy place was willing to you have to do two hours of therapy a day for, uh, for two weeks and then it's uh three days a week of uh two hours of therapy a day for six months um so it was a lot of therapy for a girl here yeah yeah and i did not like well, your it siblings because they had to come and you're yeah right. but in and the pa was nice enough to step up your grandpa was nice enough to step up and yeah do one we day call him pa so yeah one day a um we, week he would drive you so that yeah. i could stay home poor craig didn't have to go that was nice for that or at least and you well at least was at school already yeah you and craig were in kindergarten yeah so you didn't and, and that you guys were last year of half day. So oh, yeah. We, were, we would go to therapy and then catch the bus just in time for, they would eat on in the car. and. Uh, I don't remember that. <laughs> but, yeah, I do remember the, um, the SDR. I remember, like, this, uh, like, the stitching and how the stitching made me feel. Well, it kind of got itchy the, for you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was itchy. Uh -huh. Next one is percutaneous muscle lengthening, also known as PERCS. And that one... <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm into my nose. Is, um, and that one is a neat thing they do. The They kind of poke tiny holes in the myofascia yeah, my of the muscle. Okay, which yeah, is like I the got that wrong like last the time. Shield, my, like yeah, a, my, uh, a, the shield of the muscle, I basically, guess. is the best way. And we're no doctors here, so... <laughs> Just keep that in mind. We're doing our best to tell you um, name, our terms that how we understand it. But look things but, up. But yeah, Google it. I don't. Or yeah, Google, Google research it. each of the surgeries. Yeah, look them up. You know your child slash your yeah. situation. But the perks is great because you have no scarring. You have no. Yeah, um, it's a little tiny incision. Holes. Um, yeah. you have no uh, recovery time. Not really. No, it's a procedure. Um, it's an outpatient yeah. procedure. But you have to be. She had to be serial casted, so her feet mm -hmm. had to be at a ninety degree angle. Um, with so her ankle, her feet, her ankles, and the lower leg were casted for uh, a few weeks after mm -hmm. it, just to keep it, to keep it stretched. I do remember that. that. But because they'd been loosened, you didn't have any trouble with the casting at that time. No, I did not spasm, and usually I do spasm. But it's because they loosened no, the muscles. No, I'm just saying, yeah. usually I do spasm, yeah. but... Yeah, I'm adding, it's because oh, they yeah. loosened the muscles. And we did go to see the doctor in New Jersey, but... Um, there's now a one in Detroit. Michigan that we can... Yeah, and there, at, it's the perks, you know, yes, um, that was to, to your point Anna mm -hmm. was that was something that um we went to New Jersey we're just worked out and I guess I'm going to say that as a disclaimer for for all of these procedures and all of these things I, me personally I was led by the Lord 
And I know my kids roll their eyes at me, oh, no. so, but that's okay. I knew you were going to say that time. But I have to say, I Keep have going. to say it because some of these were really scary to do. Yeah, like this, you um, are. And I, but they, everything lined up just perfectly each time. And, and for a, a surgery to line up out of state and therapy to line we up. Had, and, and, a play, and we had relatives that happened to live in the state it this. was in. I mean, it just, everything lined up. So you just, you just saw the Lord. Oh, you know, paving the way for you. So I knew these were, while they were scary yeah. to decide for you. Because um, I, didn't, cause you, I yeah. didn't get, like, any choice. Well, you were so I was so little, so I couldn't think yeah. of a wise or a fair decision. Yeah, yeah. Not wise, but, like. Well, no, but fair, but re, it was just too young. Realistic. For, so I had to do it. And, yeah. So that was, and John, your dad and I had also, to do it. Also, you get the perks choice in your lifetime because of um, growth and development reasons. Yeah, yeah. So I just want to put that out there and it will, I will probably get it sometime in the near future. Yeah. Just cause I can feel my muscles yeah. get tighter. Now the next one I'll do my best to describe. So what happened was, even though we did do these great, the SDR and the perks, the, unfortunately her muscles were so tight. We kind of did it late too. Well, we, we, we I mean, I do feel like everything happened at the right time, but at the same time, maybe a little bit late for the, That's because, what I'm saying. yeah, um, because this, the next, the muscles were so tight. They did pull her hips out uh, or pull her one, her left femur, or my right, light, femur, my her right femur out of her socket. And then in the process, because it had been going back and forth, it wore down the socket. So at eight years old, she had to have her right, now I'm going to, I have to look at the sheet to do cheat sheet. Right hip varus derotational osteotomy, right dega procedure, right adductor so tenotomy. Or something like that. So I hope I pronounced that right. And, and again, we'll, we'll have all these things on the card so yeah. that we, we can get it right in the age that I had each surgery at. Yep, that's on there too. Because yes. I don't want to. So that was, the, that was, but that wasn't, um, uh, we had no choice because it was taking her hip was just her socket was gone and pretty much gone and so they had to build it up and that was a long that was an eight hour surgery but, and I, I lost blood yeah, on one of these blood. but it was what was neat about it it's supposed to be you're supposed to be like in a body cast after it to hold your because oh. it's your hip so yeah. and your femur you have to hold them in place um even though they did pins and plates oh. but one of the neat things was the yeah. and we put that in the 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 description too that the the or the orthopedic mm. surgeon worked with the I don't I'm not Bruce sure what to call guy, I don't the know tech, the technicians Bruce, the engineers Bruce kind they, of, yeah I don't know they but, but they made a brace for her because they knew that usually with a CP you're very spastic or at least spastic quadriplegics are yeah so um. They decided because of that, and I do have a history of that. Yeah, you do, yeah. Um, well, you what happens is your muscle, everything spasms inside the cast. Yeah. And then you're then you're doing tissue damage and bruising and. So everything. they all decided that instead of doing a, a body cast, um. They came up with this brace. Um, the brace is pretty cool. And we did, I mean we had to keep it on her. It was like we had to view it like it was a um. cast. Yeah, I get off. We didn't take it off Which of her. Which sucks. Um, but it was, we had to view it like a cast, and you have to think of it like a cast. So, yeah, you know, I we was, did everything, sponge baths for all the, the, the six I, weeks or I eight had, weeks uh, of recovery. And so it was forth. like eight weeks. It was just in time for school. I, we did it on purpose just in time for you to go to school. Which sucks, but it is <laughs> what it is. But, um, and then uh, nine months later, I know you think it's a year, but it wasn't. Nine months later, or ten months nine later. Nine months later? They did, uh, they took out the pins and the plate. Okay, I, I thought it was a year later. I thought it was a year still, later, but. Still, but either way, but it was funny because we didn't realize mm, they the, had to come out. The, <laughs> the doctor. <laughs> Maybe we were foolish. The doctor literally goes, looks good, her scarring looks good. Okay, you ready for time for it to come out? Time yeah. for it to come out, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, no. So we were kind of foolish, but that's okay. But um, that's funny. 
And then, then you had it about 11 years old, a uh, VCUG. And, 12. And I can't, again, we're not you have gonna, to look it up yeah. to see what it exactly stands for, but it's basically a test where they filled up her bladder. With, you can use your And they used an x ray machine to see if her bladder, if the it's, liquid was going back yeah. up into her kidneys. Which that, it was. And but. in her case, it was. And they put her on, they had, you had to be on an antibiotic because of the infection. And For then two, they also put you on the Is it two weeks? I don't, doesn't, I don't know. Whatever, but whatever. They, they put it from that, they did a, um, you, your overactive bladder got. Yeah, diagnosed. so I am diagnosed with overactive bladder, and this is why I had a lot of um, UTIs growing up. Yep, yeah. And this is probably why. And that has really, yeah, cut that and down so considerably. And so now I'm on medicine for it. Every day. That yeah. I would not change. No, it's a wonderful thing. I mean, you, yeah, you yeah, change I wouldn't it. change it. Yeah, it was a wonderful but the, thing. But the per, the procedure itself is kind of like scary, kind of painful. Well, yeah, it was scary, a tra it, was it was traumatic for you. Yeah, it was it's traumatic. traumatic. I would say that. Yeah. Not scary, but it's pretty traumatic. Yeah. For a twelve-year-old to go through mm -hmm. this. Or eleven year old. Either way, but, they, yeah. and they had people there and stuff, but it just still was traumatic. It's, it was traumatic. Uh, anything, but anything, it was worth it in the end. Yeah, if um, I knew it would make my life better, it'd be okay. Maybe a little bit of a different attitude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and then um, that was the, the main thing, and then well, Botox procedures. Botox happened when she was earlier, but like um and. And uh, like uh, six or seven. No, before all before the perks. Once the perks got done, you yeah. don't have to do Botox anymore. And I say that with I said Botox with infusing or in, in enthusiasm. enthusiasm. It's not. <laughs> it's not. But it works. It does. It, it works, does, but it's not. It like does loosen Botox, the muscles. Botox, yay! And for every person, it's different. But, it didn't last as long as we were hoping on you. No. Um, so she had to get it done about every six months. Uh, and then once we had the uh, perks done, we didn't have to do yeah. it anymore. So that was wonderful. And that's why I wanted to get it done again. <laughs> and then, well, you're like, it, you mean, as, as you grow, your, yeah. your growth has changed, you know. And I can muscle. feel, I can, as a 20 year old, now knowing what I know, I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. Like the, the, how it helps me and like, I can now see the difference. Yeah. It, yeah. Does that make sense? Older, sure. As you've gotten older, you're able to. Yeah. The thing we can't say enough good about oh, that, that it doesn't get its just due is physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Anna had that. Um, 18 years of my life. Her, most of uh, through her until uh, she was graduated from high school. They don't allow it. Um, Outside of high school. Well, the that the and insurance insurance stopped it. Yeah, and it's not us. Because she didn't have enough of an improvement. So insurance deemed it not necessary, which um, is not right, but it is what we have to deal with. So. But yeah, I would not, I could not say enough good things about therapy. They were fabulous. Even though I hated therapy. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you hated therapy, but you loved your therapist. Yeah. You always had really good therapists. Yes, and they taught me a lot. All of us. They taught all of us, you know. Like my situation, and they taught mom a lot. Yeah, yeah. About like your hip. I would have never known your hip was being was pulled out. No, it was. They're the ones who filled me. It was Sean that told me. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I would have never known, and we needed to have that's this done. such a thing. You know, so you know, but I can't say enough good about their occupational and stuff like that. And, yeah, and I would say they work. In, together. Yeah, they, they work. Each thing builds. They kind of work in unison. Different muscles, but yet you need, they overlap each other and you need it. Yeah. For, um, to, to, you just need it in life. Or you need, uh, your trunk is your diaphragm, yeah. which is your speech. But that's also your physical. And it's also your occupational because you hold your arms up and stuff. So they all yeah. relate to each other and all help each other. What um, I can say is the human body is so um, intricate yeah. that you don't realize well and each thing relies on different things yeah that's what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it's so inter intricate mm -hmm. that you don't, yeah that you don't realize it at the time yeah that yeah, could be it so okay. um, so we did i mean it was just i guess we 
want to end it with a big thank, thank you. you. To every single therapist, um, this is like a special. <laughs> all, the do- all the doctors. All the doctors. I feel bad if we call out because we didn't. Can we call out? I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to give them all credit. I don't know if we can so, or can't. Yeah. Um, but we. They, you know who were, you are. <laughs> there were just all the, not just the doctors, all the staff, all yeah. the therapists, all the they. I wish they we were could. just really fabulous, and they helped us. They they Help really me. taught us. Um, like they help you, I'd say, help you be ultimately independent. Um, well, not independent. Um, medically inclined. What was our, our word? What's the word? Medically inclined? I don't know. My notes. They made you stronger. Yeah. I more think, knowledgeable. Yeah. And I didn't, more capable. Okay, I did not. That's what we. That's what we were like. Those were the words to come up with for. What all these people did for us, and and uh, and, um, and help from the family and support from the family through all of it. That always is a, a huge yeah. thing too. So um, thank you guys for watching, and all. And if you guys have any questions, please do not be afraid to ask. We are an open book, and if mom, if I don't know, mom, if I'll ask mom. Well, she's right there with me. I'm the one. I'm the one answer. typing up what you say to type off. Yeah. So. so she will be right there, and, um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank you to you. Be well. Um, yeah, I will go, I will see you next week, guys. Take Bye. care. Bye.